from Humpty Dumpty to Jack and Jill, these beloved characters have accompanied us throughout our childhoods. But, beneath those innocent tales lies hidden darkness, those can reveal unknown truths. Prepare to board on a journey through the twisted narratives of nursery rhymes, which have been known to touch upon topics such as pandemics, murder, burying bodies, or even suicide. Take Humpty Dumpty for instance. This nursery rhyme has sparked numerous theories about its origin and meaning. One intriguing interpretation suggests that it may be linked to a massive cannon used during the English Civil War. According to legend, Humpty Dumpty referred to that cannon mounted on Colchester's wall or tower. Unfortunately during a siege, the cannon fell and could not be repaired, inspiring the line Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. But that's not all. Another theory suggests that Humpty Dumpty could have been a nickname for King Richard III, known for his hunchback. The rhyme might be a subtle reference to his defeat at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485. These historical connections create a complex and interesting story around the seemingly simple nursery rhyme. Let's move on to Jack and Jill, another classic that holds unexpected secrets. One theory traces its origins back to the French Revolution, where King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette faced punishment and execution by beheading. In this interpretation, Jack represents King Louis XVI, and Jill symbolizes Marie Antoinette. The line, have a great fall, is a metaphor for their tragic downfall. On the other hand, some suggest that Jack and Jill could be connected to the Peasants' Revolt of 1381. Jack Straw, a leader of the revolt, and Jill of Brentford, an encourager of rebellion, were executed by beheading. Jack fell down and broke his crown could refer to Jack Straw's demise. While Anne Jill came tumbling after, might allude to Jill of Brentford's fate. The phrase, like big bowl of beer may even echo the demands of the rebels, for better living conditions and reduced taxes. Although speculative, but these theories add a layer of historical significance to the rhyme. Now, let's delve into Bar Bar Black Sheep, a rhyme with another fascinating historical backdrop. This nursery rhyme's lyrics are said to mirror the wool trade and taxation practices in medieval England. The line Bar Bar Black Sheep may refer to the taxation system, where black wool considered to be of inferior quality. Three bags full could represent the different parts of the wool tax, with one portion going to the king, another to the church and the final part to the farmer. This interpretation sheds light on the economic disparities and social inequalities of the time, making Baba Black Sheep a reflection of society's divide. Moving on to Do You Know the Muffin Man? This innocent-sounding rhyme has a chilling urban legend associated with it. Myth has it that the Muffin Man, who lived on Drury Lane in London, during the 16th century, was in fact a notorious serial killer, named Frederick Thomas Linwood, tying muffins to a string. He lured unsuspecting children into dark alleyways, where he would commit heinous crimes. The tale goes that he even eliminated seven rival bakers to reduce competition. This dark twist transforms a simple rhyme into a haunting story of murder and myth. Now, let's uncover the eerie connection between Ring Around the Roses and the Great Plague of London in 1665. Each line of the rhyme is believed to symbolize an aspect of the devastating plague. Ring Around the Roses references the red rashes that appeared on the skin of plague victims. A pocket full of posies means carrying flowers or herbs to keep away illness or to cover up the smell of death. A tissue, a tissue, represents the sneezing a symptom of the plague. And we all fall down, depicts the high mortality rate during the outbreak, painting a somber picture of the grim reality. <music> Lastly, we come to London Bridge is falling down. This well-known nursery rhyme, holds a connection to the bridge's history as it collapsed several times. The rhyme believed to have originated in London, reflects the repetitive collapses and rebuilding efforts. Wood and clay, refer to the materials used in the bridge's reconstruction. 
while stone so strong, pays tribute to the stone bridge that still stands today. It is important to remember, that nursery rhymes have been changed and adapted over centuries. This makes it difficult to predict their actual origins. It is likely that many nursery rhymes, were inspired by multiple events, and that they have been shaped by people's imagination, creativity, and sense of humor.